Hey guys, this is Travis, and we are playing part of the continuing series. Travis plays pretty pictures. Okay, this deck is Avalanche. We play the tap land because we didn't really we we had a one mana, but that's not a one mana that's not a first turn play. You need a tap creature out there for that. I like that guy. So Avalanche is the name of the deck. It's one of the premates that Wizards of the Coast made. And there should be an index card in the upper right of the YouTube corner there. Do I want to trade that? No. I want to bring down somebody who can block it. And get me land. No tax. And so on the upright, there's an index card that should take you to the introduction as I go over all of the cards in this pre-made deck. And we're just going through once a week, introducing the deck and playing it a few times. I'm just putting out these bite-sized videos one, one match a day. See if we can win with the deck, see what we like and dislike about the decks. And at the very end, we'll see if there's any kind of recommendations we can make as far as upgrading things. They don't have removal. So let's ramp. Insert a card onto the battlefield. And that's not enough left over to do anything. But our creature is getting more powerful the more lands we put down. He gets first strike. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have enough for Bookworm, we just need to get him down on the ground. Honeymoon Hearse. Five, five, Trampler. Interesting. It's my turn. Come on. You had your turn already. You're going to activate it while you're on defense? Okay. We're going to draw again. It's good to get these ramp cards up front. If you get them and can use them, it's awesome. We'll put a land into the battlefield. We get this to use for Blizzard Brawl. And I don't care what they got. There's nothing that they can do for one mana that's going to prevent this. Okay, then we let them choose if they're going to block this big honking eight spirit of the elder guard or not. I figure they'll let it through. Which is what I wanted. And then we'll use Bubble Snap. 
So they can't tap it to activate their 5-5 on their turn. They're going to have to put down a different creature at least. And they can't do 16 in one turn, so we're good. We kicked it, so we made it tapped. And now I don't have to worry about him getting first strike by attacking with enough and then pumping it up when I block it. Red's got cards that can add strength. No, oh, he's going to kill my bear. That's fair. I'll take two points. I don't care about two points. Because I have a bookworm. And I don't think... I don't think the red deck... Oh, and you're tapped, so I'll just hit you with the Lotus Cup while I'm at it. I don't think that the Mono Red Goblin is, comes equipped with something to do against the Bookworm. He could, he could put down another land and have the uh, Flying Dragon that you can't be countered. So I'll top two cards. He does have a land. And there's a Goblin Gang Leader. Not enough to kill it, but there would be enough to block it. Um, but he has Trample. Did he put down the land from his deck? I wasn't looking. Because that's an exile. He could have... Could he only play the one? Let's see. You may play those cards. So why didn't he play the mountain? Did he already play mountain before he drew it? Played it? Well, I kind of like the art on that, though. That looks kind of cool. Okay. Um, cultivator. So we can get another land out. And this is one of the strengths of the Avalanche deck, is it's it's pretty good about playing spells and ramping as we go. So this is going to give us nine lands to his six. Not that red really needs any more than six. But the Lotus Cobra really, really helps. It helps you do a little extra stuff each time. Like, for instance, here comes a Shia. This should make him quit right here. And why not? We're going to put down Ascendant Spirit. Because I haven't played a land yet. So we're just we're just waiting for Sassy Sniffles here to pass priority and let me actually take my turn. So, because the Shy is down, Ascendant Spirit now counts as a land, right? So we get that. We get our actual land, which we still never played a land. We're going to get another one. And in the meantime, we'll just use two of it to pump up. The stuff from Lotus Cobra is wasted, but we have two snow-covered lands that we can use to change Ascendant Spirit from 1 to 3. And then, we don't need Lotus Cobra anymore, so we attack with both. And he's going to block with a 1-1 one, one for the Lotus Cobra, probably. Oh, never mind. Sassy Sniffles just quit. Alright, our first outing with Avalanche worked pretty well. 